Welcome back to Nature League. This month has been all about evolution and speciation. However, it's a special month with five Thursdays, and that means it's time for our special segment called Nature Plus. Nature Plus is a segment where we investigate nature in the context of something else. For this month's Nature Plus segment, we're going to explore nature plus engineering. Basically, discovering how engineering and design takes some pointers from life on Earth. Using nature to inspire design is an engineering discipline called biomimicry. Like other feats of engineering and design, most biomimicry projects are directed at solving problems using innovation. It turns out that some of the coolest projects underway were inspired by designs found in other species. Low pain mosquito needles. There are a lot of people who steer clear of the doctor's office because of the idea of needles. Getting your blood drawn typically well, hurts. However, mosquito bites, which pretty much do the same thing, are initially pretty painless and sometimes unnoticeable. That's because they use a special design that reduces the surface area of the point of impact. Scientists are now working on incorporating this design into medical needles to reduce pain. Shark skin antibiotics. Antibacterial resistance poses one of the biggest public health risks of the 21st century. A lot of this resistance comes from overuse of antibiotic agents that kill bacteria. So instead of trying to kill microorganisms, what if we just created surfaces where they don't like to grow? A product called Sharklet is an example of shark skin biomimicry. This engineered surface works similarly to the dermal denticles of shark skin and provide an unideal environment for bacteria. Gecko foot adhesives. This is an adhesive developed at Kiel University in collaboration with the company Gottlieb Binder. The inspiration came from looking at gecko feet and leaf beetles. And by looking, I mean looking really closely. Gecko tape has microscopic elements that allow it to stick to wet and slippery surfaces and it doesn't leave any residue behind. Solar panels. The idea of turning light energy into usable energy isn't exactly new to life on Earth. Through the process of photosynthesis, plants have been doing this for a long time. Not only do solar panels mimic this incredible process, but some can actually follow the sun the same way that plants do, in a process called phototaxis. The bullet train. Transportation is a major area of engineering innovations. One of the most famous transportation biomimicry examples comes from the kingfisher bird. When engineers in Japan were designing high-speed bullet trains, they ran into issues with noise. Kingfishers move from the air into the water almost seamlessly, and the designs of their beaks inspired the less noisy and more energy efficient Shinkansen bullet train. While most of the biomimicry products we've discussed so far are either still in development or not really everyday items, there are all kinds of things we encounter every day that use designs that have been around much longer than humans. While some of these designs weren't inspired by life on Earth, Life on Earth also uses them. We find the designs of everyday items in many species on Earth. To name a few, I figure there's no better place than inside a home. So we are now here in a kitchen in a household and I've found some common items that are actually great examples of biomimicry right around the house. Straws, simple, right? Have them around the house, sometimes at restaurants, but there are other species that have figured this out as well. One of the best examples would be elephants. The way that they use their trunks uses the same principles of pressure to move water that we use with straws. How about utensils? We use forks and spoons and knives all the time, and humans have been using them for a very long time, thousands of years, we've actually seen examples. But if you look at a common fork, you can probably see some similar designs in the animal kingdom. I'm thinking birds. So birds of prey, the way that they use their talons is really similar to the way that we grip into food using a fork. Ah yes, it's a Friday evening after work and perhaps you wanna open a bottle of wine. So, gotta use a corkscrew. But this design is actually seen a couple different places on Earth by very different species. We see this in birds with reproductive anatomy, but we also see it in the way that certain animals lay eggs. Sharks specifically will actually lay eggs that are shaped like corkscrews, and that shape allows them to tuck them away and push them into rocks to actually stay safe. It's knife time, specifically serrated knives. Serrated edges are when we have this kind of curvature going along. So instead of a flat blade across, there's actually less surface area on each point. Less surface area means that the pressure is bigger. And so that means that the way that we use these creates a completely different cut than one straight across. We see this several places with life on earth. First of all, we actually see it with leaves. It has nothing to do with cutting into something. It's just the way that their leaves are shaped, possibly to reduce things like pressure from wind and other elements. We also see this in carnivores, the way the teeth are used to tear off flesh, but even the individual tooth itself 
will have serrated edges, specifically something like a tiger shark tooth. So what about something like a fan blade? Well, we see this in all kinds of places, from propellers to fans to even the way that we create aircraft. Each one of these blades, if you take a cross section, is something called an airfoil. And the shape of that is actually seen in a ton of places on Earth. We see it in birds and other creatures that fly. We also see it in creatures that swim. So in terms of a fluke of a whale, you'll see that same kind of shape, and it uses the principles of physics to allow better movement. How about this? The biomimicry piece of this isn't the actual body of the pitcher, but of this kind of a strain right here on the lid. This looks just like baleen that we see in some kind of whales and also other filtration like we see in flamingos, for example. Perfect example of biomimicry right here in the kitchen. And we couldn't possibly talk about everyday biomimicry without mentioning Velcro. So these are special kind of strips used to hang pictures and other things onto walls, and they use the principles of Velcro by having one piece stick into the other, like this. This was discovered a while ago by someone that noticed these burrs, or these small plants, that had attached themselves onto his dog, actually, which then led to the invention, and was a perfect design based on nature. Thanks for watching our special Nature Plus segment on Nature League. Make sure to come back next week for our brand new theme, plants. Mm -hmm.